volcanoes are always associated with eruption, disaster, and calamity. Some of the most unforgettable disasters in human history were caused by volcanoes. But let's set that aside. Volcanoes are one of the most magnificent creations in our world. Not all volcanoes are catastrophic. Here are satisfying mud volcanoes. By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos, and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. So, what exactly is a mud volcano? A mud volcano, or mud dome, is a landform created by the eruption of mud or slurries, water and gases. Several geological processes may cause the formation of mud volcanoes. Some mud volcanoes are created by a hot spring activity, where large amounts of gas and small amounts of water react chemically with the surrounding rocks, and form a boiling mud. Though mud volcanoes do sometimes erupt with powerful results, they are, for the most part, harmless. Gases bubble passively from the tiny craters at their summit, and upwelling mud slowly oozes out to form small flows. Mud volcanoes are also different from the bubbling mud pots found in active geothermal areas, such as in Yellowstone Park. The mud that erupts from mud volcanoes is cold, or perhaps only slightly warmer than the ambient ground temperature. Here are some examples of mud volcanoes. Watch how satisfying the flow of mud. Azerbaijan and its Caspian coastline are home to nearly 400 mud volcanoes, more than half the total throughout the continents. First is the Dashgil mud volcano. Dashgil is one of the active mud volcanoes in eastern Azerbaijan. It has erupted in 1882, 1902, 1908, 1926, and 1958. Presently, there are 50 active vents around the crater, intensively erupting mud, gas, and water with an oil film. Erentekian mud volcano is located 10 kilometers northeast of Atbalak railway station and morphologically is one of the Oliati trend uplifts. The last eruptions occurred in 1964 and 1969, when the temperature in the crater reached 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius. In the crater area, there are 70 mud vents which spewed mud, gas, and water with an oil film. Dozens of mud volcanoes can be found on the Taman Peninsula of Russia and the Kerch Peninsula of Crimea, along with the southwestern portion of Bulgaria near Rupite. In Italy, they are common in the northern front of the Apennines and Sicily. On August 24, 2013, a mud volcano appeared in the center of the Via Cocchia di Morto roundabout in Fiumicino near Rome. Mud volcanoes are quite usual in Indonesia. The Indonesian Lucy mud eruption is a hybrid mud volcano driven by pressure from steam and gas from a nearby volcanic system and from natural gas. At its peak, Lucy spewed up to 180,000 cubic meters of mud per day. Imagine that fountain of mud. It is the biggest mud volcano in the world. The birth of Lucy was a major disaster for the population living nearby, with the loss of their houses, properties, and their livelihood. For the scientific community, however, it was a chance to study the evolving geological process of a mud volcano. In the Turtle Islands in the province of Tawi Tawi, the southwestern edge of the Philippines bordering Malaysia, the presence of mud volcanoes are evident on three of the islands, Lihiman, Great Bakungan, and Bowen Islands. The northeastern part of Lihiman Island is distinguished for having a more violent kind of mud extrusions mixed with large pieces of rocks, creating a 20-meter wide crater on that hilly part of the island. Such extrusions are reported to be accompanied by mild earthquakes, and evidence of extruded materials can be found high in the surrounding trees. There are 10 active mud volcanoes in the Izu Bonin Mariana Arc, which can be found along a north to south trend parallel to the Mariana Trench. The material erupted at these mud volcanoes consists primarily of blue and green serpentinite mud, which contains fresh and serpentinized peridotite material from the subduction channel. Serpentinite mud is formed as fluid from the downgoing Pacific plate, is released via prenite pumpulite dehydration, green schist alteration, and blue schist dehydration. This fluid interacts with mafic and ultramafic rocks in the downgoing Pacific plate and overriding Philippine plate, resulting in the formation of serpentinite mud. All of these mud volcanoes are associated with faults, indicating that the faults act as conduits for the serpentine mud to migrate from the subduction channel to the surface. What do you think about these satisfying mud volcanoes? Let us know in the comment section below, and hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we continue giving you the best content. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.